Hey guys, welcome back. We got another exciting toy video today. It's the X-Men toys from Toy Biz. Today's episode will be focused on Mr. Sinister and Sauron. First up is Mr. Sinister. Now, believe it or not, I think Mr. Sinister is one of the more interesting supervillains in the X-Men universe. It amazes me that Marvel hasn't included him in any of the movies yet. Alright, I'm going to do my best not to ruin the cover art. I really like his design overall. Looks exactly like he does in the cartoon TV show. There's good articulation in the elbows and knees, which you all know I'm a big fan of. His cape comes right off here. Now unfortunately his light up action no longer works due to old age. But you can open up the back and swap in a new battery. He doesn't come with any accessories other than the cape, and in terms of features, he's pretty straightforward, but his design is so cool that it just makes up for it. I'm gonna have to say, this is my favorite trading card. It even beats out the previous one in my last video. If you can't tell by now, it's Deadpool. Next up is Sauron. Now I'm not a fan of the character, but I do like his design. Something about the wings just caught my attention. I'm not too familiar with the character. I think he can hypnotize people. I don't know, I could be wrong. All right, here we go. By far, out of all the X-Men Toy Biz figures I've played, this has to be the most interesting. I mean, you don't normally get characters that look like this. There's no articulation in the limbs, which is understandable this time since you need a solid foundation to help balance out the wings. You 
You can rotate his torso to make him swing his club thing here. The wings are not solid. They do bend a little. Here's a cool feature I completely overlooked. His jaw moves up and down. That's actually a first for me. I don't think I've seen any other X-Men toys that can do that. And we got the trading card. Looks cool, but I don't know anything about the Star Jammers. Now, is that a single mutant or is that a team of mutants? Let me know in the comments below. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. I would definitely recommend these two toys, especially the Sauron character. What a pleasant surprise he turned out to be. I honestly didn't think his design would be that cool. Alright guys, give me a thumbs up, comments below, see you in the next toy video.